Sports Fan Club's Martha Quinn sets her sights on Texas Rock and Roller's Stevie Ray Vaughan. And the Steve Fan Club special correspondent Martha Quinn has more on one of the greatest rock guitarists of our time. In 1983, Stevie Ray broke big, receiving two Grammy nominations and coming out on top in three categories in Guitar Players Reader's Poll. The honors keep pouring in, but it's Stevie Ray's vow to quit drugs and drinking that's really turned his life around. If you saw him last summer in Frankie and Annette's Back to the Beach, you know the thrill isn't gone. I love doing soundtracks for movies. It's a lot of fun. It's real interesting to work two picture. To play music that goes along with with a scene or with action or whatever. It's very it's very interesting to me. I think the blues today are still the same thing as blues were in the 20s, 30s, whatever. Uh, when somebody gets the blues, it doesn't have to be just about one thing. Everybody gets depressed. Everybody gets the blues in one way or the other. But the music, the blues, is to soothe. You can relate to the lyrics of the song. If it's worse than what you have going on in your own life, it can soothe you because you can say, wow, I don't have it that bad. If, if you can relate to it because it's the same as in your life, you can say, wow, I'm not the only one that feels this way. And if, if it's a, an uplifting lyric in the first place, that's going to make you feel good. So no matter how you look at it, the blues music is really, a, is really to make a person feel better. I've changed a lot of the ways that I, that I go about life because there was, no, there was no way to keep going on the way I was going. Um, it's been about 10 months and two days since I've had any kind of drugs or alcohol because I finally found out that that's just a, a way to kill yourself. I quit drugs and drinking because I had to. There's not very many people that run around and have everything on top of it. Everything in the world's happening and they're all party time and decide all of a sudden just to quit. It's not that. It's that when you realize that uh, there's nowhere to go with it, that it really is a lie. You try to take care of yourself. There's too much of, there's too much of a uh, myth about how you have to tear yourself down to be in rock and roll. And you have to be this way, you have to be that way. The only thing you have to be is alive and kicking. <laughs>